بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو کیمسٹری کلاس فار گریڈ ٹین ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹاپک بانسٹر لاری کانسیپٹس آف ایسڈس اینڈ بیسز وچ از مینشن ان یور چیپٹر نمبر ٹین ایسڈ بیسز اینڈ سوز آن پیجز So before starting this topic, you must know some of the introduction about this concept. So first heading is introduction. Introduction. So these are basically two names of scientists, Ronsted Lorry. Why are these names given to this concept? Because these are the names of two scientists who worked in 1923. One of the Danish chemist Bronsted and other one is the English chemist Lorry, which actually independently, uh, independently presented their theories of acids and bases on the basis of proton transfer. So what is their theory about? Bronsted and Lorry in 1923 presented this uh, concept of acids and bases. And this concept was based on the transfer of proton. transfer of proton what is proton proton here means the hydrogen ion h positive as we know the structure or atomic structure of hydrogen that it contains one proton having no neutron and one electron in its outermost or only one shell which exists so due to one proton and one electron this is the simple structure of hydrogen atom so scientists have uh, suggested that one pro- with one proton in this hydrogen atom you can also call it hydrogen ion why it is called the hydrogen ion because normally it has one electron and it always try to share this one electron with other atoms so by donating its one electron to another atom it only becomes or having one proton in its nucleus now in this case we can also observe that those atoms which donate their electrons to other atoms basically have a positive charge on them yani wo electrons jo ki donate ho jate hain kisi atom se اور ان ایٹم کے جو نارملی اب جب آپ ریپرزینٹیشن میں لکھتے ہیں تو ان کے چارجز جو ہیں وہ پازیٹیو میں لکھے جاتے ہیں اور ان کیس اگر ہائیڈروجن کسی دوسرے ایٹم سے الیکٹران لے گا تو اس کے اوپر اس کے نگیٹیو چارج آئے گا ان دیٹ کیس اٹ از کالڈ ہائیڈرائڈ آئن ہائیڈرائڈ آئن بٹ ان دس فارم وین دا ہائیڈروجن از ڈونیٹنگ اٹس الیکٹران اٹ کیریز پازیٹیو چارج وچ انڈیکیٹ دیٹ اٹ از آلسو کالڈ اے پروٹون so after donating one electron it can also be called a proton so the transfer of proton mean hydrogen ion or simply you can say uh, h positive so according to this concept now we are going to define acids and bases separately so the heading or statement will be become definition or you can also write statements in this case first definition is acid that is what are bronsted lorry acids so it is a substance you have to write the down the statement first a substance which can be molecule or ion that can donate that can donate a proton and what is proton as i told you in the previous point hydrogen ion to another substance which can be a base another substance is called an acid acid go سبسٹانس ہے وہ تھنک ہے وہ چیز ہے یا وہ کمپاؤنڈ ہے جو کہ مالیکیول یا آئن کی شکل میں بھی ہو سکتا ہے اور جو دوسرے سبسٹانس کو اپنا پروٹون جو ہے وہ ڈونیٹ کر دے یعنی ٹرانسفر کر دے 
while what is bronsted lorry base so definition or statement about base a substance or a chemical which can again molecular i that can that can accept now this time the word is changed from the need to accept accept a proton that is hydrogen ion from another substance and what is that another substance acid so what is base base wo substance hai wo chemical hai jo kisi dusre substance se proton hasil kare so major difference when we in both definition is donate and accept acid jo hai wo hamesha proton hydrogen ion jo hai wo donate karte hain de dete hain dusre ko jabki base jo hai wo proton accept karte hain ek dusre se lete hain so this is the main concept now to understand the concept of acid and base according to bronsted lorry we have some examples in this first example is between or a reaction between hydrochloric acid plus ammonia which is a reversible reaction so by the reaction of hcl and nh3 our products will be ammonium ion plus chloride ion as you can see here that hydrochloric acid acts as an acid while ammonia acts as a base so these two acid and base become lorry or bronsted lorry acids and base now according to this equation or chemical equation we can say that acid is a donor जो डोनेट करता है अपना प्रोटॉन वाल द बेस इज एक्सेप्टर बेस इज एज एन एक्सेप्टर सो इट इज इट इज अ रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शन इन द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन यू कैन सी दैट एल सी एल विच इज एन एक्टिंग एज एन एसिड डोनेट इज प्रोटॉन टू अमोनिया विच इज अ बेस एज इट एक्सेप्ट अ प्रोटॉन so in this reverse reaction you, you can also see your desired product in the case of in the form of ammonium ion and chloride ion here so ammonia that is nh3 accepting one proton so it becomes h4 before the reaction before starting the reaction it is nh3 that is hydrogen 3 how many atoms of hydrogen Three atoms of hydrogen. Now it is a, it is actually accepting a proton that is hydrogen ion. So it is getting this hydrogen ion from from hydrochloric acid and it is added here. Okay, so uh, from HCl hydrogen is removing and adding here NH3 becomes NH4 in this manner in this way. And what happened to the Cl that is chlorine? It becomes chloride. So it is written in the form of negative ion because it has no more compound now. It is separating from its compound and convert into its respective ion that is chloride ion having negative charge on it. Another example of bronsted lorry concept of acid and base is between. hydrogen chloride and water in which hydrogen chloride acts as an acid while water is a base so in a reversible reaction the products which are formed are hydronium ion hydronium ion plus chloride ion so some detail about this reaction you have to write down the explanation heading next explanation after the example or after this example you have to write down the heading explanation now i am going to explain this reaction that is what is happening between acid and base to produce their 
respective substances. So basically you can see that by this double arrow it is a reversible reaction and here I am also writing the forward reaction F and the reverse reaction R. So in this forward reaction hydrochloric acid which is acting as an acid donates its proton here you can see the proton whereas water which is a base as it accepts the proton from the hydrochloric acid now in the reverse reaction that is from product to reactant chloride ions is a base so chloride ion is a base as it accepts a proton from acid that is hydronium ion and chloride ion is called a conjugate base of acid hydrochloric acid and as well as you can say the hydronium ion is called a conjugate acid of base water so this is the hydronium ion which is the which is a conjugate acid of base water that is H2O it means every acid produces that is this one produces a conjugate base and which is that base yes chloride ion and every base which is a water here every base produces a conjugate acid so opposite processes will be happening here such that there is a conjugate acid base pair will be formed in the end and what is the meaning of conjugate here what is the meaning of conjugate here join together as a pair what is the meaning of conjugate combine or joined together as a as a pair so here we can see the pair as well and what is that pair called it is a pair between hydronium ion having positive charge and the chloride ion having negative charge so you can also write here so what is hydro hydronium ion it is a conjugate what is hydronium ion it is a conjugate acid what is chloride ion it is a conjugate base and these are acids and bases so you can also describe it in this way that chloride ion is a conjugate base of hydrochloric acid and the hydronium ion is the conjugate acid of water that is H2O next heading is related to that conjugate acid base pair so first heading conjugate conjugate acid so what is conjugate acid heading after this you have to write down the definition it is a species or a chemical molecular ion that is formed formed by accepting by accepting a proton that is hydrogen ion by a base and the second concept regarding this is conjugate base conjugate base what is conjugate base again only you have to change the first definition species formed by instead of accepting now the word will become by donating a proton that is hydrogen ion by instead of a base now an acid so the reverse thing will be written the reverse substances will be written conjugate acid kya hai conjugate acid wo hai wo chemical hai wo species molecular ion hai jo ke uh, proton ko accept karta hai by a base base ke zariye aur conjugate base kya hai jo ke donating kar, donation kar rahi hai yani proton de rahi hai kiske zariye acid ke zariye so again you can write another example of this so heading of third he uh, heading in this case is example and here i am quoting the example of acetic acid ch3 c o o h plus water 
in a reversible process or reaction forming acet acetatine CH3COO that is double O having negative charge it's called acetate ion along with hydro hydronium ion you can say okay hydronium ion now in this case as you can see here CH3COOH is acetic acid so we will consider it bronsted lorry acid and the water as I told you it is a bronsted lorry base what is the reason behind because the acetic acid in this case is proton donor base is proton acceptor so you have to write down that which are the conjugate acid and base in this reaction so as we can see here by starting from acetic acid up to acetate ion by the formation of acetate ion what change which which you will observe here in acetic acid and acetate ion so clearly you can see that hydrogen is missing in acetate ion clear so it means from an acid the hydrogen is donating to any other substance so therefore the acetic acid becomes acetate ion if an acid is donating its proton then it becomes conjugate conjugate base for the next reverse reaction and as you can see proton that is uh, that is a uh, water which has got the two hydrogen so in this case it is accepting a proton from acetic acid that is this one so hydrogen gets add to make it h3 so here you can see h3o having positive so what will be this formation or this pairing called it is called conjugate acid so always while accepting a proton by a base or jab aap ye keh sakte hain ki ek base ne ek proton ko accept kiya to wo hamesha kisi bhi conjugate acid base pair mein kis tarah se jo hai wo apna role play karti hain kya banati hain they form conjugate acid why because in the reverse reaction this conjugate acid donates its proton which is which extra proton it has to the conjugate base and the conjugate base finally accept this proton and again the reverse reverse, uh, reverse reaction that is the forward and reverse reaction are taking place at the same rate by the formation of sometimes the conjugate base and conjugate acid which are products here they will become reactant once again and these reactants in the reverse reaction become product so the reaction goes on now dear students after knowing each and everything about the bronsted lorry concept of acid and bases we are finally concluding to our last terminology and what is that last term terminology or term so before going to that i want to explain once again according to bronsted lorry concept then acid and base always work together as you have seen for the transferring of proton from one substance to another so what is this in normally indicating that ever in every chemical equation which you have seen related to the bronsted lorry concept of acid and bases there are basically two reactants which are participating in it one is acid another one is base and they always perform their duties in a reversible reaction to form to form conjugate conjugate acid and conjugate base conjugate acid and conjugate base now in this reaction in this general reaction we can see that a substance can act as an acid that is the proton donor only when another substance simultaneously or at the same time behave as a base that is proton acceptor so what does this equation tell uh, tells you about about this pro concept that bronsted lorry concept of acid and bases may aapke paas jab tak proton donor yani acid or proton acceptor nahi honge you cannot make your equation you cannot get your products in the form of conjugate acid and conjugate base 
सो साइमल्टेनियसली अगर एसिड है तो बेस लेनी ज़रूरी है यानी उसी रिएक्शन के अंदर एसिड और बेस का होना ज़रूरी है एक देने वाला और एक लेने वाला क्या चीज़ प्रोटॉन हाइड्रोजन आइन ये क्लियर होगी बात सो आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट यू हैव टू नो अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टर्म एंड दिस टर्म इज़ नाउ कॉल्ड एम्फो टैरिक सब्सटांसिस एम्फो टैरिक वॉट इज दिस वर्ड एम्फो टैरिक सब्सटांसिस वट आर दीज सब्सटांसिस बेसिकली ये क्या है ये कैसे सब्सटांसिस हैं सो अ सब्सटांस दैट कैन एक्ट एज एन एसिड एज वेल एज बेस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द अदर सब्सटांस इज कॉल्ड एन एम्फोटैरिक सब्सटांस वॉट इज एम्फोटैरिक सब्सटांसिस इट इज़ अ सब्सटांस इट इज़ अ केमिकल कंपाउंड दैट एक्ट्स as an acid as well as base as well as base depending upon depending upon the nature of nature again acid and base nature of other substance and one of the most familiar example is water so give example water h2o plus along with it ammonia in a reversible reaction to produce nh4 having positive charge ammonium ion plus remaining one hydroxide ion hydroxyl ion you can also say so in this case you can observe that water is basically a, an amphoteric substance it is a amphoteric substance why it is called the amphoteric because ampho mean both what is the meaning of ampho both both means that in some reaction water acts as an acid while other reactions it becomes a base depending upon the nature of the other substance for example in this case ammonia is a base so what will be the role what will be the nature of water it will become an acid in this reaction but sometimes it <coughs> sorry it becomes a base when hydrochloric acid plus water to produce hydronium ion having positive charge along with the chloride ion so another example to prove that what are amphoteric substance in the previous case we have seen water was acting as an acid now this time already acid is present here in the reaction so what will be the behavior what will be the nature of the water it will act as base so finally we can say that water is an amphoteric substance because it acts as an acid as well as base depending upon the nature of the other substance kya matlab hua ke water ko humne ek aise universal example ke taur pe yahan par liya hai ki ye acid ke taur pe bhi aur base ke taur pe bhi act karta hai lekin iski jo dependency hai wo kis par hai dusre substance ki nature pe hai ki agar is reaction ke andar water base hai to kyun hai क्योंकि दूसरा सब्सटेंस जो है वो एसिड होना ज़रूरी है प्रीवियस रिएक्शन जिसमें अमोनिया का मैंने आपको रिएक्शन बताया उसमें वाटर एसिड है क्यों एसिड है क्योंकि अमोनिया बेस के तौर पे एक्ट कर रही है सो एम्फोटैरिक सब्सटेंसेस बेसिकली आर दो सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच एट द सेम टाइम इन द डिफरेंट रिएक्शन कैन एक्ट एज बेस एज वेल एज एन एसिड separately write down the examples of amphoteric substances so you can get the idea that which are the other examples rather than water so one of the most important example is water along with you can write bicarbonate sco3 having negative charge and bisulfide hydrogen sulfide ion that is also called so these are some of the examples of amphoteric substances which are acting or behaving as an acid as well as base now in the end what are the limitation 
what are the limitations of bronsted lorry concept bronsted lorry concept अब हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं कि ब्रॉन्स्टेड लॉरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एस और एसिड और बेस के क्या लिमिटेशंस हैं वो कौन से ऑब्जेक्शंस हैं जो मुख्तलिफ साइंटिस्ट ने इस कॉन्सेप्ट पर किए किस वजह से इसको लिमिट कर दिया गया यानी इसको महदूद कर दिया गया और इस पर मज़ीद जो है वो काम सामने नहीं आया तो इट हैज़ बिन ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर सर्टन सबस्टांसिस विच बिहेव एज एसिड्स दो दे डो नाट हैव द एबिलिटी टू डोनेट अ प्रोटोन सबसे पहला जो ऑब्जेक्शन आया वो ये आया कि कुछ आपके केमिकल कंपाउंड्स कुछ ऐसे सब्सटेंसेस भी थे जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल सल्फर ड्राई ऑक्साइड व्हाट इज़ द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड सल्फर ड्राई ऑक्साइड अब इस कंपाउंड uh, को अगर आप ध्यान से देखें सल्फर ड्राई ऑक्साइड विच इज़ विच इज़ बेसिकली अ गैस तो ऐसे भी सब्सटांसेज हैं जो कि एसिड के तौर पर एक्ट कर रहे हैं लेकिन इनके अंदर प्रोटॉन यानी हाइड्रोजन आयन मौजूद नहीं है क्या आपको कहीं हाइड्रोजन आयन नज़र आ रहा है नहीं है यानी ये सल्फ़र और ऑक्सीजन की कॉम्बिनेशन से बनने वाली एक गैस है जो कि एक्चुअली किस में इन्वॉल्व है जब ये वाटर से कंबाइन करती है यानी सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड अलोंग विद वाटर यू विल गेट अ बेसिकली एन एसिड एंड इट इज़ कॉल्ड एस टू एस ओ थ्री हेयर आई आई विल राइट एस टू एस ओ फोर क्योंकि वहाँ पर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड भी आप लिख सकते हैं सो एस टू एस ओ फोर बेसिकली इज़ अ नेम ऑफ एसिड कॉल्ड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ना वॉट इज द नेचर वॉट इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ सल्फर ड्राई ऑक्साइड हेयर इन दिस रिएक्शन एज इट कम्बाइंस विद वाटर टू फॉर्म एन एसिड देर फोर सल्फर ड्राई ऑक्साइड बिहेव एज एन एसिड दो इट डज नॉट हैव द एबिलिटी टू डोनेट अ प्रोटोन वाई अगर ये एसिड है तो इसमें प्रोटोन डोनेट करने की एबिलिटी होनी चाहिए लेकिन तो प्रोटोन तो इसमें है ही नहीं हाइड्रोजन तो है ही नहीं तो ये कैसे प्रोटोन डोनेट करेगी तो ये सबसे पहला ऑब्जेक्शन आया लॉरी ब्रांसटेड कॉन्सेप्ट पे कि अगर कोई कोई भी सब्सटांस एसिड के तौर पे एक्ट करे और एसिड की डेफिनेशन ये है कि उसे हमेशा प्रोटॉन डोनेट करना है तो सल्फर ट्राईऑक्साइड भी एक एसिड है एक एसिड के तौर पे एक्ट कर सकती है लेकिन इसके पास प्रोटॉन नहीं है तो फिर डोनेशन का तो सवाल ही पैदा नहीं होता ये क्लियर होगी बेटा बात आपको सिमिलरली अनदर एग्जांपल कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड सी ए ओ कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड बेसिकली साइंटिस्ट ये कह रहे हैं कि कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड अगर सल्फर ट्राई ऑक्साइड एज एन एसिड एक्ट कर रही है तो कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड कैसे रिएक्ट करेगी या ये सब कंपाउंड कैसे रिएक्ट कर रहा है इट इज़ अ बेस इट इट बिहेव लाइक अ बेस बट इट कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट अ प्रोटॉन लेकिन ये किसी दूसरे सब्सटेंस uh, से जो जो कि एसिड होता है उससे प्रोटोन एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर सकता इसकी एबिलिटी नहीं है सो हाउ कैन वी कॉल कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड अ बेस इफ इट डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट एनी प्रोटोन फ्राम एनी अदर सब्सटांस सो दीज ऑब्जर्वेशन फाइनली प्रूव दैट द लिमिटेशन ऑफ ब्रॉन्सटेड लॉरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एसिड एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो कंक्लूड हेयर दैट द ब्रॉन्सटेड लॉरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एसिड एंड बेसिस डज नॉट गेट एक्सेप्टेंस ये भी फेल हो गया इसको भी एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया गया ड्यू टू दीज रीजन विच आई टोल्ड यू इन द Uh, in this part of the lesson now there is a similarity between the bronsted lorry and arrhenius concept of acid and bases so according to arrhenius and bronsted lorry bronsted lorry what is an acid first so all arrhenius acids can become the bronsted lorry acids how one of the similar example in between both is hydrochloric acid now in this case when we are saying that hydrochloric acid is an arrhenius acid why because what is an arrhenius acid arrhenius acid is basically contains hydrogen or produces hydrogen and when acids are dissolved in water while on the other hand why hydrochloric acid is called a bronsted lorry acid because 
this hydrochloric acid contain a proton and what is proton it is hydrogen ion so in both cases arrhenius and the bronsted lorry concept the hydrogen ion is present that therefore we can say that arrhenius acids are also called bronsted lorry acids but except hydroxyl ions according to now we are going to the base what are the arrhenius base and what are bronsted lorry bases so in both case we can say that arrhenius base is that one in which a substance after dissolving in water can dissociate or may be dissociated into its respective ion in which one of the ion is hydroxyl ions hydroxide but on the other hand the bronsted lorry base cannot become the arrhenius bases so the bronsted lorry bases are not arrhenius bases because a one of the example of the base is ammonia can you see hydroxyl ion in it so this is the answer of your question that why arrhenius bases are not the bronsted lorry bases or why bronsted lorry bases are not exactly the arrhenius bases but the acid can be uh, or both acids in both cases or concept will be equalized will be similar to each other so arrhenius acids can be the bronsted lorry acids but the arrhenius bases or the bronsted lorry bases cannot be arrhenius base so this is the end of today's lesson class you have to solve the problem mentioned on your page number 24 of textbook first you have to observe the table very clearly and keenly and then you have to solve the problems problem which is 10.1 with a b and c part on your loose sheet or need book or need notebook and then you have to submit your work to me so allah hafiz